first market in Africa where UNCDF chose to engage in digital financial services was Malawi. And we chose Malawi because in many ways it was a microcosm of all the challenges and all the opportunities of digital financial services. So we wanted to try our approach, which is to work not just with one single provider, not just with the regulator, but to actually work with all of the actors in a digital finance ecosystem to see can we improve the entire system as a whole by addressing the weak spots and also taking advantages of the strengths in the market. As an example, the Reserve Bank of Malawi has always had a keen commitment to inclusive finance. The way in what, which we help them adjust that commitment to address digital is we worked very closely with them to look at the regulations, doing a very in-depth study, and provide them with a set of ideas and recommendations based on other countries, but also based on the Malawian context. They've taken these recommendations and drafted regulation in order to create a very enabling and open environment. At the same time, we've been working with the providers themselves. The biggest gap is really the ability of the providers to reach low-income clients. So we've worked with them on a number of fronts. We've worked with them to help think through their strategies and their business case. Through that, we've identified some of the operational challenges that they've faced and we've helped address them. Now we have agreements with both of the major mobile network operators and we've also worked in partnerships with banks. Now that together we've worked on the basics of mobile financial services in Malawi, working with the providers, working with the Reserve Bank of Malawi, now we're in the opportunity to really try some very interesting new things. So as an example, we're seeing some new entrants into the model. These are third parties that specialize in setting up agent networks in the country. We want to work intensely with them, in particular in partnership with the existing providers to bring them together. We're also interested in experimenting with new agent models that could affordably and sustainably reach rural areas. So we're working on a number of fronts in Malawi, and uh, as I mentioned, I really think that we're starting to see a change and we're starting to see a momentum to propel Malawi out of a startup phase and into an expansion phase. Digital financial services in Malawi started, I think, at the beginning of this century. And uh, maybe some of you are already aware, Malawi is amongst the first few countries to have uh, fingerprint activated ATM, automated teller system uh, machines. So. And uh, the reason mainly was to target the unbanked because we were aware that uh, the technology will have to assist people who are in the rural area. Because of that, I, we found that the uptake of the people in the rural sector, as well as even in towns, was quite high. But that doesn't mean that when we were implementing the systems, we did not meet some challenges. And these challenges are bound to be faced by anyone who intends to adopt the digital financial systems. The first one is the cost of the systems themselves. Digital systems are not cheap. As a result, the country has to be well prepared in implementing such kind of systems. The second issue is to do with the technology itself, integration of technology. Before the coming of digital systems, each player in the financial services had their own platforms. And now you are asking them or, or they have to integrate and the element of integration, one, is new. Secondly, most of the systems that exist have got patents, which sometimes make it difficult to integrate and talk as one. It actually become a challenge for a country when they want to implement digital financial services. The third is that the systems are changing rapidly. And as a result, there's need to offer technical assistance to institutions that are operating, especially in developing countries. In this regard, I want to thank the UN for coming up with such kind of platform because it will help people even through online technology to learn what are from others and to compare the experience and share information. The third issue is affordable bandwidth. Internet and mobile technology is, is not very new but new in Malawi and in uh, some parts of Africa as well. In this context, internet itself as well as uh, mobile technologies are not cheap. So uh, efforts should be made to reduce the cost of using internet and mobile technologies in our countries. The third issue that affect, affect the uptake or usage of digital financial systems is the literacy level. We are asking people who have never been banked before to move from unbanked to mobile banking. That's a very big leap. 
In this regard, we, efforts should be made towards training and education. And we are grateful, like in Malawi, there are some institutions that are there to help assist people in the rural or the unbanked to learn from, uh, from others on the usage of mobile technologies and other digital pl platforms. This is, uh, this is the last issue but very important. We are using digital financial services. We are asking people in the rural area to offer cash points to act as agents. And these people or the agents, their environment is small. Right? So as you are aware, cash moves from the towns to the rural area. So the agents might not have the amounts that people would need to disseminate. So efforts should be made to supplement the cash or the finances that agents have in the rural sector so that they, their, their platform or their environment becomes almost equal to a bank but in a simplified version. Thank you. Thank you.